Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and this is part one of the Street Fighter 4 custom mod managing tutorial. So, part one is all about correcting the error regarding permissions in your character directory. So, first off, um, right off the bat, when you uh, install Street Fighter 4, you should make a backup of your character directory because this is the directory where Custom Mod Manager will uh, make its changes and write its files uh, and you really should back up this character directory in case uh, something bad happens that is always possible and you want to uh, return this directory to, it, to its original state without having to reinstall the entire game so let's go ahead and do that I have a shortcut here to the to the directory okay but I'll go I'll go through it like this so it's best for you guys to understand so it's usually it's installed in C program files now this is important uh, for 32-bit uh, window versions it will be installed on C program files Capcom uh, Street Fighter 4 but in 64-bit window versions like mine 64-bit uh, windows have uh, two program files directory uh, it has the program files with 64-bit binaries and it has program files with 32-bit or x86 uh, program binaries so Street Fighter 4 is a 32-bit application so it will be stored in program files x86 so let's go to that uh, Capcom and Street Fighter 4 okay so here's the root of Street Fighter 4 and the character directory is inside this directory here battle so in battle here it is here's the character directory so this directory basically has all the characters okay so it, here's Ryu, Sagat, Zangief, Vega, Honda and so forth and each one of these contains like for instance Ryu uh, this directory contains uh, all the files regarding or almost all the files uh, in game regarding Ryu so it has the costume the costume files here they are it's the these over here that have the cause extension so this is the normal the the normal I the normal costume file for Ryu <laughs> this one here the O2 it's the alternate costume file for Ryu now each costume has 10 colors in it so though these are the 10 colors uh, you will notice that the the color has the call extension and there are 10 of them to be applied to this costume so it's color 1 of costume 1 and here it's the same thing for the alternate file so it's color 1 of costume 2 and there are 10 of them okay here we have the audio files for Ryu so it, this is Ryu English and this is Ryu Japanese okay uh, and if you look at my uh, voice modding tutorial uh, uh, that is where I explain how you can actually mod these files and um, add your own sentences to the to to the character okay then we have the VFX files and the VFX files it's the visual effects file so it's the file responsible for uh, for instance the the color of your uh, Hadouken um, and you can change that so the the standard color is blue it's a bluish ball fireball and you can change that uh, as we will uh, see later on in this tutorial I have a costume mod that changes this file in order for the the ball to become uh, like more of a pink um, okay so 
this is the directory that uh, basically Street Fighter uh, Custom Mod Manager uh, operates on. So it will do changes to these files. Okay, so before you use Custom Mod Manager here, you should back up your character directory. So let's do that. Right button, copy, right button, paste. Continue. You, here he is talking about permissions, but I'll just use continue here since I'm a computer administrator and you will let me copy the files. So he's copying the files, <coughs> backing everything up. Okay, this is just about 30 seconds or so, so. It will go quick. Almost. You can fast forward this part if you want, of course. But I really want you guys to see I'm not skipping any steps in the process. So, and done. Okay, so I have a perfect copy here of the directory. Okay, here are all the files, the original ones. Okay. Now for permissions. So now I have my uh, character directory uh, backed up, so I can start my custom mod manager. So I have a directory here. I have a directory here that has the custom mod manager, the latest version that I have released. So I'm going to unzip it. You can use any zip program to unzip this, like uh, WinRAR. I personally prefer 7-zip. So, okay. And here are the four files that come with it. So these two are .NET libraries that are necessary to run Custom Mod Manager. Remember, you need to have at least version 3.0 of the .NET framework. If you don't, go get it at the Microsoft site. And um, if you're using Windows 7, you probably already have it because I think it comes bundled with it. And here is the readme file. So I thought this readme file was pretty clear, but well, I guess not. So let's go going. Let's get going and execute this. <clears throat> so as you can see, as I'm executing it for the first time, it generates the config file for the for the custom mod manager tool. If you wanted, you could copy these files over to this directory here and put it alongside the Street Fighter 4 executable file that way he would automatically detect that he is inside the Street Fighter 4 directory and this will all be filled by uh, for you so you won't you wouldn't be needing to indicate uh, where Street Fighter 4 uh, install directory is okay but I like to keep things separate so I'm going to indicate where I have my copy of Street Fighter 4 installed and remember it doesn't necessarily has to be uh, program files Capcom etc I could uh, very well uh, install it to uh, whatever directory I wanted so it's C. I'm in the 60-bit for uh, at uh, 60-bit the 64-bit sorry uh, operating system. So it's program files x86, Capcom, Street Fighter 4, and OK because I want the root of the game, and this is the root. OK. So he has detected it, and now I have all these um, options. Uh, activated okay now um, in order to generate the error I need to access uh, the the files in this directory so how do I access the files well 
the first time I enter the file manager, the costume, the color file manager, for instance, but the first time I enter the file manager, he will start making changes to this directory. Um, namely, he will start backing up uh, the the original files. Okay, it's a double protection. So I told you to make a backup of this directory, but Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager also backs up your files just in case. So. Um, nevertheless, I still suggest you to make a backup copy of this, okay? But Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager will back your uh, original uh, costumes uh, in order for you to uh, be able to get back to them uh, if you want to without reinstalling the game. So, if I enter Color File Manager, uh, the first... Uh, the first character you will select will be Abel, I think, and you will try to make a backup of his uh, of his normal costume, and I think it will fail. Let's see. Here it is. Okay. Um, so the um, access to the path J J because. J H A B. Uh, actually, I think, I think that's able. Yeah, uh, is denied. So if I press continue, yes, it's able. Okay. So here is able, and you are not seeing anything here because he doesn't have permissions to make that copy. Okay, and it's the same if I select any other character. Like if I choose Ryu, same thing. Okay, I'm trying to access the Ryu character directory and uh, I'm trying to make a copy a backup copy of his original files and I can't or Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager can't so how do we solve this let's close this up and now back to your character directory not your backup copy your real character directory okay and right click on it and properties now go to security and basically what you have to do is uh, every time you run an application like Street Fighter 4 uh, Custom Mod Manager it will run with the privileges of your logged in user so what this means is that my user my current user doesn't have permissions writing permissions to this directory if he did any application that I run uh, with my user would have the same privileges so uh, I'm lazy and I don't want to add my current user here to this list but I have the group users where uh, my current user is um, is uh, uh, well my current user is contained in this group uh, if you wanted, you could specify just for your user, if you're at a multi-user multi uh, PC, but for me, it's just, uh, it's just me and this PC, so I can edit the permissions for the group users. So I'll click Edit. Now I'll select Users, and as you can see, I just have Read and Execute, List Folders, and Read Permissions. I don't have Write Permissions. Okay, I don't have modify permissions. Uh, that's edit permissions. So I want full control over this directory. And I'll click OK. And he's updating the security information on the directory and on the files on it. So I can click OK here and it's done. My user now has permissions to modify this, this directory. So now let's run custom mod manager again and this tool because it is being uh, uh, run by my user now has my permissions over this directory so if I go to color file manager voila now I have the normal and the alternate costume file of Abel and they were backed up if I go to Ryu He's backing it up and it's backed up. Okay. So this is how you solve the uh, character directory permissions.
problem okay so next up part two of this tutorial the um, it's the manual uh, costume file manager okay where we will learn how to use uh, color file manager costume file manager and VFX manager so I'll be right back <laughs>